I'm Willem. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. It's my wife, So, how much do you know about Lego Mindstorms? We got a little bit from Peter, but... We'll okay, but you the, 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 the old one, do you know anything about oh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is the Lego Mindstorms EV3, the third yeah, major launch that we have on the celebration of our 15th year anniversary. Well, you can see, here's the box. It comes with over 600 pieces where you can build five different robots. The two that I want to focus on are Reptar and Everstorm. What we really focus on in development is to make it more fun for kids, make it easier to get into, and you know, really make the brick very capable of doing all of it. So this is the programming wall brick. It has a much faster processor, a lot more memory, and all these things. But what does that mean for the kid? You know, we want to give them a great play experience. So you can see from these these two models, we spend a lot of time making them look very cool. There's a lot of uh, expression and personality. But of course, the personality really shines when you know you see it move. You make your Lego come alive. That's the great new thing. Integration with smart devices is another big thing that we've been focusing on. Um, Actually, we will have three apps in total, and one of the apps is to uh, control your robot, command your robot, and really use the power of your smart device. So it's going to be it's compatible with Android and iOS. Free app that you can download. Right now, I'm using the tilt sensor to steer it around. I can also shake it, and it's going to shake or lunge forward, and it's going to lunge forward. Of course, the infrared sensor also detects objects or it can be used in combination with the infrared beacon to remote control your robot. Oh, actually, right now it's going to follow me around. I have to pick another one. I can remote control it, I can you know, do whatever I want. I can do this without doing any programming, or I can you know, still expand it and uh, add some cool features like activating the shooter when I press the touch sensor. And finally, we have also a light and color sensor. If it's dark, it's going to kind of shoot. Up, so it's uh, you know you can shoot in different directions. What's really cool is that it's a lot easier to get started with this uh, tracker, sort of the starter model. And the medium motor that we have now is ideal for having different kind of tools that you can it's plug and play. You build this in 20 minutes, then you you know then you snap on different kind of tools. You have all kinds of different missions, five missions for for this robot. On average, we have about five missions per robot, where you you know have some fun experiences uh, and challenges that you, uh, you know, having the color sensor and a mission pad, you have to go through different checkpoints and in a race against time. So adding a lot more well, story to it as well, a lot more purpose. So this one has actually four different tools that you can build at the same time. In addition to these five, there will be 12 bonus models available for download when we launch. Uh, they are actually developed by the LEGO Mindstorm expert panel. They've also been, these are the adult fans. They've also been involved in the development and we consulted a lot with them. So um, we're confident that we're actually giving something that's really great for kids, but you know, that the adult fans also will love and be able to hack. Powerful processor, running Linux, having a USB host so you can add all kinds of peripherals. We support Wi-Fi dongles out of the box so you can get your robot, you know, on your network. Let me see, is there anything? Okay. Give me a, if you want to know more, you I know. Think you, I think you covered it, I mean, that's really neat. Really so, of course, different program blocks, you can see it's very iconic. This is like oh, okay. the medium motor, one motor, two motors. If I say two motors, I'm going to drive forward, and then I can wait for some different kind of sensors. So now I'm going to wait for uh, the infrared sensor. And this is now the distance less than 50. I'm going to set that to less than 25 and then I'm going to put another one of those move blocks and then I'm going to, instead of saying driving forward, I will change the parameter to, uh, to stop. So this is a very simple program, of course don't expect too much, but it's going to drive forward until it sees my hand. And you can of course imagine that it's extremely tinkerable if I just change that you know, change this parameter and add one more block and set it to loop instead of doing it just once. Now I'm looping it five times. I will have a robot that's gonna drive forward. When it sees something, it's gonna back off. Don't drive forward. 
kind of back up. So you know, you sort of have a wall avoiding or object avoiding uh, robot that literally you just program in what, one minute. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that's that's kind of the, the new thing, making it also a lot easier, a lot easier to get into it and command your robot in yeah, a variety of ways. Red Beacon, smart devices on the brick or through the software. Thank you very much.